So now, commissioners, yep. you have the opportunity to discuss. Oh. Question. Yep. Is there more? There is actually one more. It was sent to you via oh. email last night. And it's in the new ordinance that Compost uh, gave to you today. It's, I don't think it's anything that you need to vote on, but I just want to make sure that this was clearly before the commission. So if it does move forward, we do not need to consider it again. Um, so both the two changes that they made was getting rid of that for a uh, prohibition for the in-law units you just discussed. But in addition, uh, the new ordinance that they have requires planning department to send mailed notice to the property owner any permanent resident of the building, any homeowners association associated with the residential unit, and any individual or neighborhood association that has requested notification when a completed application for the registry has been received. So this is a new idea. You're welcome uh, to vote on it. We did not know about it when we did the case report. Um, there you have it. Commissioner Antonini. Yeah, just one more time. The, the notice planning department has to send notice to the following people when it's complete. The owner, the yeah. HOA, and who else? There was The permanent resident of the building where uh, the, the short-term rental would be, uh, and any individual or neighborhood association who has requested notification. Okay, and, and I think you said the homeowners association, That's if there correct. is one, too, and the owner. That's correct. And the residents, plural, if there's more than one, I would assume. That's correct. Okay. I guess that probably they should know that it seems like a little more work, but what do you think, City Attorney? Uh, I was just going to add to what Ms. Rogers said and, and clarify that under the existing code, under Chapter 41A, the planning department is already required to send notice when an application has been completed to the property owner, as well as any home, if it's in an RH1 district, any homeowners association associated with the building. So that's already in the code. What this amendment would add is it would apply to all homeowners associations. So, a note, so if you're in a multi-unit building, a notice would have to go to your homeowners association, as well as all permanent residents within the building where the short-term rental is proposed. And to clarify further, it's actually all homeowners associations and the RH1 districts that have requested such notice um, because we don't always know if a homeowners association exists and uh, they're, they're registered with the city or they re don't register with our department. Um, so we don't always know if they exist. Um, they would have to elect that the, note to us that they want to uh, receive the notice. Commissioner Richards. So if uh, I'm a two-unit building, you know, I converted a condo, and in our CCNRs it says no uh, subletting or whatever, this would apply to that. This would actually expand because it's not an RH1. Uh, Deputy City Attorney Marlena Byrne, just to be clear, if your lease or your homeowners association um, CCNRs prohibit short-term rentals, that's an entirely separate issue from Notification. our code. Okay. Um, we do not police that at all. And simply because we allow short-term rentals under our code does not mean you're not violating your lease or your Perfect. CCNRs if you do it in your actual building. So a, those are sort of separate issues. Perfect. But it does expand it because the current notice requirement only applies to RH1 districts. Okay. I mean, homeowners associations are in all districts, so um, that makes makes sense. Yeah, I, I'd be I'd be supportive of this, and I personally would like to vote on it. I don't know how mm -hmm. I'll yeah. respond. 19 now. Commissioner Moore. Um, Mr. Sanchez, could you clarify the difference between homeowners associations and neighborhood associations? Those are two different things. Well, I mean, for our purposes, we would say that neighborhood associations are those groups with that have listed with the city as being interested neighborhood association groups, whereas the homeowners association usually has um, the bylaws are going to be responsible for um, the CCNRs that are in a building and that they may, they may be funded. I mean, they're I think generally it's the level of it can maybe like involvement that they may have in the affairs of the entity that they oversee. But you are saying these notifications would be sent to neighborhood organizations, or do I? I, I want to get this distinction clear. I think because that the proposals in the original legislation and the many hours of feedback, we got a lot of requests for neighborhood organizations to be informed because they wanted to figure out if it really has a noticeable impact and an ability to kind of understand it. Because I think the proposals, oh, sorry, you want to say 
Hi, I'm Carolyn Goosen with Supervisor David Campos' office. So in this amendment, um, the notification will go to the permanent residents in the building, um, as well as the landlord. And upon request, it would also go to neighbors within 100 feet or neighborhood associations or anyone who requests information about a specific a uh, address. But that is upon request. Thank you. Good. Commissioner Richards. So it's specific address, not I live in Eureka Valley. I'm going to get every notice from Twin Peaks Boulevard to Dolores Street. It's just I'm interested in one parcel. Okay. So that's that's not support. a neighborhood association. Like not just in a general blanket. Okay. Commissioner Hillis. Just a clarification on permanent residence. So does that go to just own or occupant? Because who yeah. we don't know. Right? That, I think that's that's how it would have to function, like we do for a Section 311 notice, where we send it to occupants. And this would be additional materials that would be, need to be submitted as part of the application process. Got it. Okay. So labels. I sense. guess one of the concerns. I mean, I think we maybe need a little bit more time to evaluate exactly how this will function for when people can make the request to have something to be notified, because. I guess if, if I'm a member of the public and I want to be notified of any short-term rental within 100 feet of my property, uh, we just would need to figure out a way to effectively implement that. That's not something that we would have currently, where the BBNs that we have now are for a specific address. Um, and so the, those, that's a little bit different to implement. I, I think it's worded as it is, they have to specifically request an address. Okay. I want to be notified if this address becomes a short-term rental. Okay. Um, Commissioner Johnson. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So just that's not what Anne Marie's email said. I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm looking. It was kind of early this this morning. Like I was already here at that point in time. So that's what I'm looking at. And the way that this <sighs> maybe we maybe we could read the text and it would be helpful because the email states that you would want to be. Um, uh, requesting notification, but it's, it sounds like more like a Section 311, like anybody in the neighborhood. That's how it was worded. So maybe we could just read the wording from the ordinance. That would be helpful. And not the whole ordinance, just that piece. I'll start from page one. Or even if it's on the overhead. Um, no, no, no. It, I brought it in today. We brought it in as an exhibit for the it could even just go on the overhead would be great. It's good that somebody's there. It's good to tell the wizards to party and laugh. Sorry, right, I'm making this painful. Or maybe could someone just put point to what page? I have it open. Uh, oh, you actually have the ordinance, the revised ordinance. It's on page eight, okay. um, lines eight through eleven. Okay. And I can read it. It says any permanent resident of the building in which the residential unit is located, any homeowners association associated with the residential unit, and any individual or neighborhood association that has requested notification regarding registry applications for the property on which the residential unit is located. Okay. So when then, would anyone ever do that? If you really don't like your neighbor, you might do that. <laughs> Commissioners, we have this, the, the BBN process now where people can request notification of anything that happens on specified properties right. or blocks. So that, that hap that's something that's in place now. Okay. So that's only for permits. This would expand this would, it to... Yes. Registration. Thank you. Shall I call the question, Commissioner? So on this 15th recommendation, recommendation regarding request for notice of residential rental applications, Commissioner Antonini. Aye. Commissioner Hillis. Aye. Commissioner Johnson. Aye. Commissioner Moore. Aye. Commissioner Richards. Aye. Commissioner Wu. Aye. And Commissioner President Fong. Aye. So move that. Recommendation will move forward unanimously. 